In this video, I will share eight customizable countdown timers for Camtasia 2020 and beyond. Hi, my name is David and welcome to this video. This video has been inspired by Christie's video uh, where he created dynamic counters, uh, timers and countdowns in Camtasia 2021 uh, using uh, the different options that are available. Now, the default or the free uh, countdown timers that are available from TechSmith, that is uh, this countdown and this like count up wheel are easily customizable into these uh, options that are available here. And Christy clearly displayed this and you can uh, check out his video and subscribe to his awesome channel so that you can see uh, the different syntaxes that you need uh, to use for the different time parameters that you want. So what I've done is that I've created different timers uh, and I have the defaults here, uh, the countdown and the count up wheel uh, available there. Uh, but now uh, let's assume you just wanted timers. Uh, I did a video on how to use uh, create a timer in Premiere Pro and then import it as an alpha a video inside uh, Camtasia 2020. But now with this, with uh, the method that Christy discovered, then it's easy to create timers that look more or less like this. Pretty awesome timers that are highly configurable to whatever you want. So if I can just play a little bit, that's what we get. We have uh, the timer here up here with the time, minute, seconds and frames. We have a frame counter. We have a seconds and frame counter. We have a minute and seconds counter. And I'll make sure that I provide links to download all these timers below. Uh, and there are eight uh, customizable assets. So just uh, see what they look like. So this is the first one. This is just a frames timer. This is a minute uh, and seconds. Then this is the, uh, the seconds and the frames and the minutes. And also the hours, minutes, uh, seconds and frame counter. Now, this is what the syntax looks like for the hours, minutes, seconds and frames counter. This is what needs to be changed and this is what Christy has provided as the parameters available for what time to display and how to display the time. So just make sure that you go check out this particular video and the channel uh, is called Graphicious. Pretty awesome channel, uh, I must say. Next up, these are just the basic timers that you can create and you can use them for uh, maybe uh, things like uh, running, showing what's coming up next, uh, things like cooking shows, if you have cooking shows, to show people how long it's going to take, etc. You can customize these timers using backgrounds. For example, here are a couple of timers with backgrounds and I'll provide these ones and these ones uh, separately so that you can download them uh, with the backgrounds and you can change. Now the backgrounds are not uh, anything new, it's just the normal annotations. So if I just open up one of these uh, timer, this one with the shape, uh, that's the hours, minutes, seconds, and the frames, then you will notice that this is just a shape. If I can just press on delete, I can just delete it and just uh, hold this and drag and drop it inside there, inside the group. Uh, we can just adjust it to the end, adjust this to the end, and then let's just bring this down. Uh, since it's at 25%, we can see uh, the frame is somewhere here. We can just bring it here. And once we do that, we can also just bring this one here, move this up so that we can see it. It's still selected. Just adjust it to where you want it to be. Uh, just adjust to what suits your needs and the size as well. Maybe here we go. And then you can just come here and just change the color to whatever color you want. If you close that, it conforms to what is required here. As for the others, the same thing applies to this. So you can change the backgrounds, you can change whatever you want. Uh, this is the frames counter, uh, the shape, etc. Let's say we want to give it a green. You can change this to whatever uh, color that you want uh, to change uh, for the background. It's really awesome what you can do with this. Uh, so I'll provide these as well. And the next thing that we can do is that you can add animations and behaviors to these different timers. 
So this is what this looks like. So for example, if I just play this clip, you'll notice that this particular timer is pulsating. Now, you can grow as you can do anything that you want. You can go as crazy as you want with the timers. You can fade out the timer. So let's say we fade that out and then have it reappear in the middle. So there we go. It reappears in the middle and you change the opacity. So it's pretty basic. So for example, this one, uh, this pulsating one, I've just, if I just open up this particular group, I can just delete that. And if I delete that, there'll be no pulsating. But if I just click on it and come to behaviors, you can just choose whatever behavior works well for you. So for example, uh, the pulsating behavior will work best. If we just place it in there and, and actually just play this, you'll see what happens. So that's what it looks like initially. So if you wanted to create uh, the in effect that looks like growing in, spring movement, etc. And then the during, uh, you can change the movement type to all these options available here and also the out. So I just like to just do none for the in and out, just none. And then during, let's say uh, either smooth or something of that sort so that uh, you can see what it looks like and then you can change anything that you want. Next up, you can also add your own, uh, for example, uh, soundtracks to animate this time better and give a better reflection of what you're working on. It's, it's really awesome to do that. As for uh, this particular uh, animations, uh, for example, this is just the basic animations. So if I can just delete the animations, uh, just delete. So our timer is still at the top, but let's say we wanted to fade it out. Uh, we can just come to animations and then just hit full opacity. Uh, just come to this, fade it out. So it begins, it comes in, fades out, Let's say we just want to restore. We just place that back. Since it's faded out, you just restore. Uh, but this will mostly work best for a timer that is progressing forward. For example, a minute and a second timer uh, so that you keep your viewers engaged. So you can use uh, these animations for uh, different opacities, ETC. You can even move the timer from above to below. Uh, for example, if you just do a custom and then uh, let's say you just put this in here in between this and uh, we just double click here you can move this to to whatever you want sorry about that control z and then just grab this particular timer and let's say we move it somewhere there so once uh, it comes back in Uh, let's just move this. Let's just move this animation just forward. Let's just move it forward. Sorry about that. Uh, we can move this back. Let's see. Uh, it moves like that. It fades out. And then fades in. And then uh, if you wanted to ha it to have a, a movement of sorts, if we play that, then it's going to actually move to where you need it to be. So you can do anything you want with these different timers. And once you edit a timer to your own liking, then you can add it to your asset library. So for example, let's say uh, you like this particular one. Uh, let's go, uh, say we expand this group of this timer, change this uh, color for the call out to let's say uh, more or less something like a pink of sorts. So right click on it to add it to the library as your countdown asset. Uh, so you can just say padded frame countdown with BG, with background that is, uh, to which library, countdown wheel, and click OK. Once you do that, it's going to be added here. So when, uh, let's say you import new media, let's say you just add this video here. If you just wanted to add uh, the library asset uh, quickly, just go to your library, select it, and then just drag and drop it 
where you want it to be. And if you play your clip, it's really awesome. It's there and you can make the edits that you want and all that. Just remember, uh, this is pretty awesome to use and work with. I'll make sure I provide the links below and these timers are customizable to what you want. Go out there and try out any effect that you want to achieve with them and see if you can create your own custom timers for other people to use and share. Thanks for watching this video. My name is David. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning. Thank you for watching.